All right, so what is the cloud out there? What is the cloud? And where's your data going if you actually save to the cloud? These are good things to know and we're gonna cover that in this video, so go ahead and stay tuned. All right, first of all, a couple disclaimers. I actually work for a data center, so I know a little bit about this. Um, you know, everyone has this mysterious, uh, you know, thing in their head when they said, you know, I'm saving to the cloud or the cloud this, the cloud that. You know, what is the cloud? Think about the cloud. I mean, you know, before it was I was saving to a computer, now I'm saving to this mysterious cloud. You know, a lot of people have this misconception that it's this kind of unknown. You know, it's basically when you hit the button to save your data, it goes somewhere and you don't have to really worry about it because it's kind of floating up in the air somewhere. And that's not how it works at all. So let's go ahead and show you what basically the cloud means. It's gonna kind of surprise you, I guess. It's gonna be very, very simple. And, uh, but working at a data center, we get this question all the time. So let's get into it. And basically the definition of the cloud is something that's hosted off your web, you know, off your site. So if you're basically moving data through a network that's gonna be off site from where you're located, that's the cloud. So I work in a data center and a data center, um, you know, basically has a ton of different servers. It's got usually raised flooring, uh, cages in there, very uh, good cooling, controlled electricity, and uh, people put in either co-location or dedicated servers in there. And they're basically just computers and there's just a whole bunch of them in, in these racks. Think about it this way, the cloud is not just this mysterious place out in the middle of nowhere, it's just actually, you know, it could be in, in Chicago somewhere in a data center just sitting there. Um, on a server, like a Dell server, an HP server, that's the cloud. All right, so when all your data is being saved in the cloud, a lot of times you'll hear like the Microsoft cloud, the, you know, the Amazon cloud, uh, you know, things like that, on uh, Google cloud, and all my data is in the cloud when I do, uh, you know, Google Docs and things like that. Well, that cloud basically is gonna be somewhere in a data center, so your data is going securely across your connection to theirs, usually, again, through VPN, and they have a bunch of servers and a lot of times many, many, many data centers set up all throughout, you know, through the United States, throughout the world, depending on latency and things like that. And your data is going there and then basically they have firewalls in front of there. They are doing redundant systems so that, you know, if one server dies, the other server should hopefully pick up the load and they're backing all those systems up. But that's the cloud and so you basically want to ask yourself, you know, who am I doing business with? You know, when they say the cloud, this is not the same cloud. These are millions and you know, probably millions of different clouds throughout the world. It's definitely not just one universal system. So keep that in mind, that's kind of an important thing. And these are all different people creating different clouds. So the clouds are completely independent. One can be completely secured better than the other. One could have no security. One could have a ton of security. One could be super slow. One could be super fast. One could have a bunch of thieves, you know, in a different country stealing your data and one could be someone that's very, very honest. So when you look at the cloud, you gotta think about those things and uh, you know, ask some questions and know where your data is going if it's really important. And really quickly, a couple other things. You may have seen SaaS, it's software as a service. And this basically is providing software on the cloud or applications over the internet. So that's one term you may have heard quite a bit, software as a service. There's another one called IaaS, which is infrastructure as a service. And this is where you provide hardware or computer resources in the cloud, like virtual machines or VMs. So kind of like an Amazon or an Azure, that's basically infrastructure as a service. And finally, it's PaaS. Platform as a service allows customers to develop, manage, and run applications on the cloud. So it basically marries the hardware and the apps together, and they call that a platform or PaaS. The thing to take away from all this is basically, no matter if it's software as a service or not, you have all these millions of different applications out there, and there are millions of different clouds out there. So your data is basically just kind of going to a specific cloud. You basically are plugging into a network like this, and in this visual, look at the uh, cloud above. That's actually a data center with the gears. That would be the data center. Your computers are below this, and your computers are basically plugging into the data center over a secure network, and that's how you access all the applications. All right, so I hope it makes sense, basically. Um, the cloud is not this mysterious place out there in the middle of nowhere. It's basically going to be in a data center. It's going to be a bunch of servers. 
just like you would be hosting, you know, just like you were hosting your data on, on your computer here in your house. Um, there's going to be servers out there. Uh, when you save something, it goes across a secure VPN, gets saved into a data center. Those data centers all have a bunch of different servers, and they can be any different configurations. They can be, you know, public cloud, private cloud, um, you know, hard, just dedicated server for the client, you know, a server directly to them only. It could be virtualized, non-virtualized, but the data basically is moving off their site and it's going off into this new data center or old data center, but basically that data center has got a lot of protections usually, you know, both security wise and it's got a lot of redundancies built into it as far as power, bandwidth and things like that. And that's your cloud. So when you ask yourself, where's my data going? Don't think it's in the cloud somewhere. You want to know what data center it's going to. So basically when you get into like Microsoft and Apple and those type of places, um, you know, ask questions, figure out where your data is going because it's important. Is it in the United States? Is it in Europe? Is it in China? You know, who knows? And those are things that you really want to ask because it's not up there in the sky, I can tell you that much. It's basically in a data center. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. And if you guys can just hugely help me out and subscribe, I make about two to three videos a week. I'm just trying to get to that thousand subscriber thing. It's taken me a long time. And, and really, I got to get there before I, you know, so I can continue making these. So if you can please subscribe, even just, you know, just for a little while. Um, it would really help me out, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a bunch.